Hey, what's up, guys? It's Takarific here, and here I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server. Wait, well, it's pretty simple actually, but this is for if you bought the game. I went out and bought the game because with the proxy version, you can't get online. It crashes so many times, so it's really annoying. You can't get online at all because they made it that way now. So if you want to play the proxy to stay single player, that's fine, but I want to play multiplayer. So this is the bot version, and with the new Microsoft 1. Point, I mean Minecraft 1.1 version. And so, what you want to do is go into Google Chrome if you have it, or Internet Explorer, whatever the hell you have, and go to Minecraft.net. And I'm sorry about the recent, I mean the videos not being posted up lately. My video card crashed with a recent driver update so it was fried and so many people's drivers got just broken so I went out and bought a new one and when we found out after we restored my computer we found out why it didn't work exactly so it was just a wasted restore and I lost everything so you go to downloads uh, keep going come on come on Alright, you want to go to the jar. Don't do the e ex execute. I don't know how to do that. Go to the jar, keep, show in folder. You can keep this up. Don't exit out. And here it is. You go to click here. Put it in a server, like put it in a folder like this Minecraft server, and r run it. It'll bring up the Java menu. It'll and it'll put all the files in a second you'll see up there like that and wait for this to be finished da, 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 da. And when it's done, you click stop. Type it like that. And let it finish. Do not exit out of this. You must do this stop. Alright? Because it'll put errors in the server and it might not work f properly if you just exit out of it while it's running. And if you, and it might leave it open. And it might not open up again. Because it'll leave. It's set on the port 25525. And if it's already running on that port it nothing else will run on it again so you have to stop it so it's, oh, it opens it up right now you can exit out of it because you're not putting any you didn't put anything on it so it's you don't have to save anything because you didn't put anything on it but make a a new text document name it run or start it doesn't matter run or start you want to go back to the Microsoft website, go to from copy from Java to jar, copy, exit out if you want to, and paste. Save as, and put run dot bat. You must put this, and it must be all files. See, it's tux document, don't do this, all files. Save. Alright, and it will bring up right here with the little things. Delete the one that's the text document. Alright. Next you want to do is you want to click run and this will open up the server and start running it. Alright, just let it do its thing. I don't like Java, I like command prompt a lot better. So I'll just keep this inter interface open. So just let it do its thing. 69 77 77 all right when it's done you type stop it's done doing everything you don't have to do it just wait it'll bring it'll exit out of both the java interface and the command prompt interface just give it a second or yeah you can exit out if you want because you're not doing it, you didn't put anything on it 
So you can exit out. And after that, you want to go to command prompt. And you want to type in IP config and enter. It'll. I'm not showing you this because I don't want you guys to sh see my IP address. But what you want to do is it'll bring down information and it'll show three different IP addresses. You want to look for the one that says IPv4 address. That's the number you want to. That's the one number you want to get. You want to go to a new. T go to a new text document and just copy that IP into that text document and save it. You need that and go to Minecraft multiplayer and it'll add server just type it as my server whatever the hell you want to call it put that IP address in that you had from command prompt that you just put in it'll say and click add server whatever it says can't reach server that's because it's not running yet so you want to run let it do its thing Uh, okay, it's done. You can exit out of that folder, click refresh, and it's up. Open it up, and you're in the folder. You're in. You're up. You're up and running. Yeah, alright. Ah, there's a lot of lag in this thing right now. Hold up. Alright, but either way. So, you just basically give that IP out to people you want to join the server. And, um, just play Minecraft, man. What's up? And some of the new updates they got up here is the spawning of chicken eggs that were laid by the chickens. Yeah, of course. Uh, they can spawn into new chickens and stuff like that. And also the sheep. When um, the sheep lose their cotton or fur, whatever you want to call them, off it, they can eat the grass and they can grow their fur back. So, if you like cut them with shears and stuff. And the thing of snow in winter, like you see this thing, all this land here, it's gr grassland and tree land, um, it could get cold and this whole place can turn into snow and the water could freeze. So that's the new thing they put in, which was winter in this play in this game was winter and snow. So yeah, it can turn from this grass area to a snow biome, and all the water could freeze. Here, I'll show you it. This was completely grassland in my world. This is single player. This was completely grassland, and now look at it. You don't see any snow yet. I don't know why, but. A whole place outside my house with, with the dirt dock which is supposed to be for boats to go into water and now the whole place is frozen all the way out across the shore so this was supposed to be a protection so no monsters can just walk in here like creepers and just blow my crap up like they did twice and now it's completely penetrable I guess you could say because they can just walk across the ice Alright, well, hope this has been very informative. See you guys.